the United States began running enormous balance of payments deficits year in and year out. Bretton Woods established an arrangement whereby supposedly from 1945 and the end of the war onward, all currencies were convertible to the dollar and the dollar to gold. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. In full cooperation with the International Monetary Fund and those who trade with us, we will press for the necessary reforms to set up an urgently needed new international monetary system. President Nixon asked King Faisal of Saudi Arabia to accept only U.S. dollars as payment for oil and to invest any excess profits in U.S. Treasury bonds, notes, and bills. In return, Nixon offered military protection for Saudi oil fields. In 2000, Saddam Hussein announced Iraqi oil would be traded in euros, not dollars. Sanctions and an invasion followed. The Federal Reserve, referred to as the Fed, is a central bank that many economists refer to as the biggest robbery ever enacted on the American people. There was a substantial number of people who did understand that, hey, wait a minute, the Federal Reserve System isn't a government agency, it's a cartel, it's a banking cartel, and it's working against the public interest. So there was, when there was enough people that could say that and understand what they were talking about, all of a sudden, the momentum began to move toward Ron Paul instead of away from him. Whoever makes the money makes the rules. Rothschild said that, and they make the money. Why are we allowing these private bankers to make the money for our country? It makes no sense. Why are we paying interest to these banks to make money for us when the government can do it itself without paying interest and without all that debt? There's no answer to that question, and it's the question no politician will raise. It turns out that banks actually have about nine times as much money loaned out as they have on reserve in their vaults. This is possible because of what's referred to as fractional reserve lending. The way it works is that the Federal Reserve, or the central bank in any country, is legally allowed to determine the amount a bank must have on reserve. In the U.S. it's currently around 